Hi guys, in today's video I am going to be showing you my wig collection and how I style them for festivals. I am going to be showing you guys my wig collection which has quickly grown in the last few years and I have been posting a lot of photos and TikToks wearing some of these wigs and a few of you have reached out to me via DM asking me how I like to style them and tips and advice to keep them on throughout a show or a festival. So I'm going to be getting into that at the end of the video but first up I'm going to be showing you all of the wigs in my collection, where I buy them from and what shop I recommend so I'm gonna show you my first wig but as far as storage I keep everything in the original bags that they come in so most of them um, from Amazon came in plastic bags and then they have little hair caps that they come in and almost all of them also come with wig caps which are gonna be very important I'll show you guys that in a bit but here's my first wig I probably should have brushed these and taken better care of them before I showed these to you but it's fine again it's this beautiful like lavender color or this like dusty purple and then the roots are black so I liked the little ombre. My hair is pretty dark, so sometimes when you have an ombre wig, I feel like it looks a little bit more natural than just like a neon color. Um, and this one came with little waves in it, but I'm pretty sure some of the wigs you can style. So if you wanted to straighten it or something, just read the information on Amazon or the website to make sure that you can style them or apply heat to them. But again, every single wig I'm gonna show here, except for one, is a lace front wig. I'll pop up some pictures here. Essentially that means that you have to cut the lace off of the front of the wig to fit on your head. Again, this is the little net that it comes with. So how I store it, I will scoop from the top of the roots and then just pull it around the bottom of the hair so that the entire wig is in the net and then I will just store it like that back in the bag. And again, here is the wig cap. I have so many of these. I always put a wig cap on before I put a wig on. I just feel that it really keeps all of your hair down in place and then the top of my roots, it controls all my baby hairs and hides my dark brown roots. The wig just holds to this so much better than your natural hair because a lot of these I'll show you will have clips that you'll press into place so you do need to have wig caps. And I don't know if I mentioned but these are from Chrisima. Chrisima is the brand that I typically buy from from Amazon. Almost all the wigs are under $50 and the quality has been pretty great in my opinion. Okay, so this was the second wig I bought. I bought this one like the grandma hair was a big trend. And again, I did the black root ombre to gray. I still haven't worn this anywhere I need to. Um, I don't know why. I feel like I just need to style this right. Or maybe I thought that the gray didn't look that good with my skin tone. But again, this is a Chris and a wig and the quality is great and it came with little curls. So we love a little, you know, hot grandma moment. That sounded weird. Okay, the next wig I have here is a personal favorite. I wore this one to EDC Orlando last year and loved the whole vibe that it created. This is from Caliss. It's also from Amazon. And this is my beautiful long blonde wig. This feels weird. I feel like I have like Muppets next to me. I love this. Like it is so long. I don't know. I prefer long wigs to short ones. It just is like such a glamour moment and when else is my hair going to be that long? So this one was also a lace front wig. I felt so sexy in this at EDC Orlando. And again, just really big fan of the color and the length of this one. But just so you guys can see the inside, you have these straps at the back of your head that you can adjust um, depending on the size of your head. I like to make them much tighter. That's one of my tips adjust the size of these straps to fit your head and when they're tighter they last longer on me at festivals but you don't want it to be too tight it will give you a headache and you are going to want to rip the wig off at the end of the night so make it comfortable but still on the tighter side so when i'm choosing a wig as i'm growing my collection i do want to branch out and have different colors different lengths all different kinds of things to experiment with because it really will enhance your looks especially if you're going to a rave or a festival so i saw a lot of these two-tone wigs because Coming very trendy and I wanted to hop on that train so I got this beautiful two-tone wig it's like a platinum white blonde and this beautiful baby blue like I'm literally obsessed with this and this is also extremely long I love this 
so much. I love the length. I love the mermaid waves. The color combo, I'll pop a picture in here, is giving me like Ice Queen Elsa vibes. And the quality is really nice. It feels very soft. And I will show you guys inside of the wig on this one. Again, you have the straps on the bottom here to adjust to the tightness of your head. And then you have these three clips on the top and then both sides. So these are essentially key to keeping your wig on and in place throughout an event. After you put your wig cap on and you put your wig on, I take these side clips and I very tightly tuck them in to the side of my wig cap and my hair and they are in there so tight um, and that's really what keeps everything in place. So this wig has it, that last blonde one doesn't. This is definitely one of my favorites in my entire collection. And then this last wig I recently bought from Amazon. This one was the one that was not a lace front wig. To me, it looks a little faker, I guess you could say, or maybe the quality just isn't as high as some of the other ones. Again, like the ones I've shown you so far are Amazon wigs, so you kind of get what you pay for. This was just a cheap, quarantine purchase. I wanted a new wig to wear in photos and TikToks and I'm obsessed with this color. Um, my favorite color is aqua or turquoise. So this is like a sea foam kind of green or like a mint candy apple and it's a shorter lob. But again, where this meets your hairline in the front, it doesn't look as real as like the other wigs do. And I mean, it's neon, so whose hair actually looks like this? <laughs> okay, last up, we have my two Lit Unicorns wigs. So Lit Unicorns, I became familiar with from Instagram. Um, a couple of my friends in the community were tagging them all the time and they have a pretty big following on social media. The wigs here are more expensive than the other ones, but the quality is so much better and they have such a wide range of colors and options and lengths for you. And I like the packaging. I just keep them right in here and then they come in a little um, hairnet again. And these were lace front as well, so you have to cut that off. Hello, long ass bubblegum pink. She is beauty, she is grace. I am obsessed with her. I love it, it's so pretty and girly. Um, it was really hard to pick two when I was buying from the website. I actually won a contest on Twitter and I had a $150 gift card. That's why I bought these. <laughs> Typically, I think this wig on sale is like $80 each, but some of their wigs are over $100 just to give you a heads up. But I didn't own any pink, so I wanted to get the pink. And again, these have the hair clips inside and the adjustable straps on the bottom. So very high quality and they don't seem to shed as much as the other ones, so that's great. This one caused quite a stir on Instagram. <laughs> you guys seem to really, really like this one, so I was excited about that. I knew I was buying this as soon as I saw it on Instagram because this is like the Little Mermaid meets Jessica Rabbit hair. Like, this is beautiful. I'm probably gonna wear this to Halloween. It's just absolutely stunning. This one's super sexy. You guys seem to be a big fan of the red on me. And I mean, you can just see this from a mile away. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm very, very excited to be wearing this at a festival one day. Okay, so with all that being said, I am now gonna demonstrate how I put the wigs on and give you guys a few tips on how I keep them secure for events. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is French braid my hair. You don't have to do this, but the flatter your hair is against your head, the better. So you can do double French braids, that's even better. I'm gonna do a single one right now. Okay, that's okay for now. It looks absolutely terrible, but I was rushing. So at the bottom of your hair, you can either pin that up to like the base of your head or you can put it in a little mini bun, but I like to keep it as low as possible um, towards like the back of my neck. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your wig cap here. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take the hair and fold it up. And then from there, I'm gonna like tuck everything in the side and make sure I'm getting all the hair at the base of my neck. Awesome, so now all my baby hairs are under the wig cap and then the braid is folded up nicely at the back of my head. You can adjust this up here as far back as you wanna go. I'm just covering all my baby hairs. Since I'm already wearing baby pink, we're just gonna put on um, the Lit Unicorns wig. So I put my thumb in the middle part of the wig so I know where the center is, and then I'm gonna flip it inside out. And I'm essentially gonna dunk my head in this so my other hand is at the base 
I already have this tightened to the size of my head so I know this is a good fit for me. All right, and so you can see my wig cap sticking out because we haven't secured the clips in yet. So now I'm gonna grab underneath the front here, make sure all the hair is pulled out over my ear. So then I'm gonna take the clip on this side and I'm gonna tuck it up and under the wig cap, so right in front of my ear and push that up. So that's sort of tucked right there next to my ear. So that's nice and secure. And then the wig sort of sits right behind my ear. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, pull that out and then you're really gonna go. And then from there you just adjust the part to where you want it to sit like how far back and make sure it's centered. And so that's what it looks like when it's fully on. If you want, some people glue like the top of their wig to their head or their hairline. You can totally do that. I think there are some extremely strong hold hair gels that are really great for that. But again, do your own research. It'll make it feel even more secure than it does now. But honestly for me and for festivals, I feel like this feels very secure. Like I can shake my head. It doesn't feel that loose. It feels like it's gonna be staying on there for a while. The one thing I will say about wigs to me, they can shed a little bit, especially when you go to comb them. And for me, I get a lot of static. So I will probably um, spray some hairspray and comb this through, especially right here in the front, any of these wispies getting in my way. But honestly, this is such a vibe. I absolutely love this. I feel like a different person when I wear a wig, but I do think it's fun just to play around for festivals or for shows or whatever other event you guys are going to. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about my wig collection and you guys found this video informative. Again, please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit the subscribe button down below to come join the family. Again, you guys can follow along with me on social media at Emma Capotis on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, and at hey there, Emma on Snapchat. If you guys made it to the end here, comment down below what your favorite color wig was. I'm very curious to see if you guys had a favorite, and I think that's all I have for you. I hope you all are staying happy and healthy, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!